The boarded up pub has become an increasingly familiar sight in towns and villages up and down the land. It's estimated we're losing 27 a week. And while doubtless some just don't have the customers to keep going, others are falling victim to something beyond their control, property prices. Actor Neil Stook of Silk and Dr. Foster fame has been campaigning for years to save our locals. 100 of them in Derby. In Kent, the Grade 2 listed Checker Inn had been a pub for 350 years, until bought by a developer who wants to turn it into a private house. Actor Neil Stoop got involved in the fight to save it. There was no surprise, but there's always shock um, to think that a council who are responsible for our heritage could so easily strike it off. What's safe these days? Is Houses of Parliament safe? Tower, Tower of London, is that going to be a Tesco's? It was packed with the campaigners to save the checker. It was a, an extraordinary uh, night. I cried. <laughs> Some councils have woken up to the threat facing our disappearing pubs. Camden in North London is one. Outside the place he hopes marks a line in the sand, I met councillor Oliver Lewis. What happened at the Crown and Goose really hammered home to Camden that we can't afford to lose our community pubs like this. <coughs> our local residents want thriving, vibrant pubs in the heart of their community. So we've really strengthened our policies to make sure that when developers come knocking, they're going to have a hell of a job to get it past our planning department. That shift turned the Golden Lion two miles away into a phoenix, as after three years, developers abandoned their plans. Dave, what happened in the end? Um, I managed to buy the freehold last year um, and we can look forward to the future now. It's, um, it's, it's a lot brighter now for, for us now that we know where we stand with the, with the business and the building to remain here for, for the community for, for the next uh, 38, 40 years. Oh, thanks, 